In today's video, we are going to talk about how to run C++ in VS Code on Windows 10 step by step. Myself Mohammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, first of all, open your Visual Studio code. Here I have my Visual Studio code and from here, go to your extensions. From here, we have to add some extension in order to run our C++ programs into our Visual Studio code. First one is C, C++. Just write it here and it will show you all those extensions related to it. This is the one from the Microsoft. So that is why I'll just click on install button. It will take few seconds to complete the installation process. And after that, we have to add one more extension in order to run all the codes that are related to C or C++ programming language. We are done with the installation of this extension. Now let's go for the second one. Second one is code runner. It will help your codes to run into your Visual Studio. This is the one I'm talking about. I have already installed it and that is why it says disable or uninstall options. In your case, it will give you the option to install it. So we are done with all the extensions. Now let's create a workspace. So I'll just click on add folder to workspace and you can go to any directory as per your liking. I'll go to my desktop and I'll create a new folder and I'll name it as C++. After that, I'll click on add. Here, click on yes and just close this extension window. Now, go to your explorer and here we have the folder. Just click on that one and from here we have an icon that says new file. Just click on it and you can name it anything. I'll name it as first program dot C++. CPP is the extension for C++ programs. Hit enter. And here we have the first file and here if you see here it says do you want to install the recommended extensions for C++. So that is the really cool thing about Visual Studio Code that it is intelligent enough to let you know that what you need to install and what not. So I'll click on install and it will install all those things that are related and that are needed. I was done with this one but that was another thing and here it is extension pack. So you can directly download it and install it or you can let the Visual Studio code what to download and what to not. We are done here with this one as well. Now let's head back to our first program.cpp file and we are good to go. Now if you write anything in here, you will not be able to run that particular code because before doing so, we have to add compiler of C++ into our system. So for that purpose, I'm going to show you one. And that compiler will be MinGWGCC. I'll show you that how you can download and install it. And then I'll show you that how you can add that particular compiler into the environment variables of our system. So let's head to our browser. I will just write here MinGWGCC compiler download. Hit enter. Click on the first link and it is from the source forge. And from here we'll download our file. Just click on download. The download process will start shortly. So I will just download this file and after that I'll show you the installation. So we are done with the download. Now let's open the folder. Here it is. I will just open this one. I will extract it in the same folder. It will take a little bit of time. So here we have mingw.exe file. Just double click on it and now we need to extract it. I'll change the direction or you can say change the directory. I'll go to my this PC and I'll extract it into my C directory. After that, I'll click on OK and I'll click on Extract. It will take a little bit of time because as you see here, it says total size 587 megabytes. So supposedly it will take around one to two minutes. So we'll wait for it and then we'll move ahead. We are done with the extraction. Now let's head to our C directory. Here it is. And here we have min GW folder. If you double click on it, here we have bin folder. Again, double click on this one. 
copy this path because we need to add this path into our environment variables. Go to your this PC, right click here and go to your properties. After that, click on advanced system settings and from here click on environment variables. From here, click on path and then click on edit button. From here, click on new and then just paste the path that you have copied. So I will just press Ctrl V and here we have the path for our min GW slash min. After that, click on OK. Click on OK again and again click on OK. I'll close this one as well and now I'll head back to my Visual Studio code. So this is my Visual Studio code and now let's write our first program for our C++. So for that purpose, I'll write here include IO stream. In the next line, I'll write here using namespace space std semicolon and hit enter. After that, let's have our main. So I'll write here int main. I'll have my brackets and now I'll have my curly braces. In that, you can write anything. I will write here C out and in my string, I'll write here first program. After that, I'll have my semicolon and after that, I'll write here return zero and then again semicolon. And now in order to run this code, make sure to save this code first and then you can click on this button or you can also press control or plus N key. And here if you see here it says first program and it is up and running. Now let's try to have a program in which we'll take the input from the user and let's see if it works or not. So for that purpose, we'll have to take a variable as well. I'll take a variable with the data type of string. Here it is and I'll name it as name. So we are done. Now here it says C out as first program. Now I'll write here C in and in that I'll ask the user to enter his first name. So for that purpose, let me rewrite the message. I'll write here enter first name or let's say right here enter your name then in c in i'll store that name into my name variable and i'll have my semicolon in here and now for the output let's write here c out and i will write here name i'll have my semicolon and we are good to go let's rerun our program and let's see if it works or not save this program you can do so by going to file and clicking on this save button or you can press ctrl s click on this run program if i try to enter something in here it will not allow me to do so because for that purpose i have to do one more thing before having input from my terminal into my visual studio code and that is go to your file section go to your preferences and go to your settings in here just write run in terminal and hit enter scroll down and you will see an option like this that says code runner run in terminal just check this checkbox and you are good to go just close this settings window and relaunch your visual studio code i will relaunch it and i'll get back to you and now i'm back and now let's rerun our code so i will just press ctrl alt plus n key and i will run my code so we have successfully run our code here and here it says enter your name. I'll write here Zubair and I will hit enter. So here we have output as Zubair. Now it shows that it is ready to take the input from the user from terminal into our Visual Studio for our C++ and C programs. And that also shows that our C or C++ programming language is working fine into our Visual Studio code. And that also brings us to the end of today's video. I hope now that you must have liked watching this video and you must have learned something new. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.